Hey everybody, this is John Marucci. We're coming to you live from Yankee Springs Recreational Area, just on Gun Lake in Michigan. And we're going to talk tonight about a campsite review of Yankee Springs. You know, we've been coming to Yankee Springs for quite a while, both to recreate and to work. And we have quite a bit of insight on this specific campsite. So some of the main draws of Yankee Springs is that there's 30 miles of hiking trails, including 12 miles just for mountain biking and another 10 miles just for horseback trails. So a lot of trails to do. There's also nine full lakes located within the recreational area, two full fishing piers, two public beaches, and the campground is right on the shores of Gun Lake, which is quite a nice large lake in central Michigan here. And besides all that, it's only 30 minutes to the Gilmore Car Museum, which is one of the top five car museums in the country uh, rated by TripAdvisor. So what are the, some of the drawbacks of Yankee Springs? The first one is if you come here on a summer weekend, it's going to be very busy. It can be much like a parking lot. And also there can be a lack of privacy as well as sometimes power outages. We actually had a power outage on this trip. So let's go through the campsite review. The first thing we look at is hospitality and check-in. So this is similar to other Michigan State Parks in that you basically just drive up to the ranger station, you know, go in, get your uh, campsite ticket that you put on, the paper that you put on the front of your dash, and you're good to go to your site. Pretty simple. The hospitality here is pretty good. I mean, the rangers are friendly and easy to get along with, and they help you out a lot when you need it. Okay, second thing we look at is infrastructure and amenities, and we'll give this a four out of five. Really good um, paved roads, two dump stations for about 200 sites, so that's about a 1 to 100 ratio. It's not bad at all, unless you're leaving on a Sunday afternoon, but other times it's not going to be too busy. Uh, two really newer bathhouses that are nice, good hot water, uh, really good showers, so not bad at all as far as the infrastructure with the bathhouses. There are, again, electrical issues. A few times we've been here, we've had power outages a couple times, so just be aware of that. Okay, there are concession stands here, but they're a little bit distant from the campground. They're down at the, one of the other beaches, which is about a mile away. And again, uh, there's a beach also here at the campground, which is nice, right on Gun Lake. So really good. And boat docks. So there's a real a lot of opportunity to do boating. If you like boating, you can bring your boat or kayaks or whatnot and go right in the water and have fun. Okay, so the third thing we look at is site quality. We'll give this a three out of five. And it really depends on where you're staying within the campground. Some of the, some of the ones near the woods have different, kind of a different feel than the ones on the water and, and the ones in the infield. So we'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute. But most of them are grass or dirt pads and fairly level. Uh, but like a lot of other Michigan uh, state parks, they're not very well defined. So it's kind of hard to know where yours starts and the other ends. Uh, and, you know, they're not very private. Again, no berms or anything around the campsites. But anyway, uh, so not, not a whole lot of privacy on the campsites. Uh, again, there's three different, kind of three different styles of camp uh, lots here, one near the woods and one near the water and one in the infield. So let's talk about the water one first. Some of the views of the water sites are really, really nice. You can back right up to them if you get one and you have a really full view of the lake, very nice. And as you get toward the water, you actually have better cell service with like AT&T, but you're a bit more distant from the bathhouses. But mind you, they're hard to get and you have to book six months in advance to get a lot of these. Uh, water sites, especially on the weekends if you want them. All right, the infield ones are a little different. They're nice because you can do group flexibility. In other words, kind of create a little interior area for your, uh, you know, if you have a few people bring in RVs, you can like park them in a sp specific way and have a little infield um, area that you guys can all enjoy. Uh, when you get away from the water, the, the, the bandwidth for at t gets a little bit more fair, not great. And, you know, they're also the distance from the bathhouse is kind of a little bit closer than from the water. But, you know, you're talking uh, on the weekends, it's going to be a grass or dirt parking lot. A lot of people. All right. And then the woods ones, there's ones along the, the edge of the campground that are woodsy. Again, very nice views if you want to kind of feel like you're in the woods. Uh, as you get to the woods, it's actually farther from the water, farthest from the water. And your AT&T is actually more spotty and you're farthest from the bathhouse. So just be aware of that. But they're also kind of easier to get than some of the water sites, so be aware of that. Now, the spot we stayed at this, this time was on Site 171, which is very close to the, the bathhouse, closest to the ranger station. Not much shade, very hot in the summer here. And the other thing, because we're close to the bathhouse, it's convenient, but there's a lot of traffic that goes back and forth by your RV, so just be aware of that. So there's pluses and minuses to being close to the bathhouse. 
Okay, the fourth thing we look at is exercisability. We're going to get this a four out of five. It's actually with the paved roads. You have paved roads on this peninsula. They go all the way out uh, past the ranger station, all the way out to the peninsula. So you can get you can get pretty good a pretty good run in. We've done several runs this week, uh, including four and five miles, and even a weekend run that was eight miles. So you can do pretty good running here, and not only on the roads, but there's lots of trails you can hit too if you want to run on the trails. Okay, so the, the fifth thing we look at is workability. We're going to give this a three out of five. Uh, the AT&T bandwidth where we are in the kind of in the middle of the campground here is okay. About four, almost five down and about two megabits up. And when we use our WeBoost unit, it goes a little better at about six and a half, a little more than six and a half down and almost three up. So it's workable. It's not great. And it really depends on what, uh, why we don't give it a higher rating because it really depends on what lot you get. So the farther you're away from the water, the worse that's going to be and maybe a little tougher to work from. The closer you are to the water, if you land one of those nice sites, you're going to be able to work really easily. But again, you have to book way ahead to get one of those. Okay, so overall we're going to give this uh, campground a good rating. You know, the location, the nice thing about this is there's not many state parks between Kalamazoo and Grand Rapids. Kalamazoo being the south, Grand Rapids being a little farther north in West Michigan. So it's a nice location between the two, and especially if you're traveling. Uh, say you're coming up from the south and you want to go up to the UP and you want to stop, you know you're getting tired and want to stop. This is a nice place to stop and overnight. It's right between Kalamazoo and Grand Rapids, real easy to just uh, 10 miles off of Route 131 to come up and, and stop. And by the way, again, it's you know 30 minutes from the Gilmore Car Museum, which is a great car museum. Uh, really a lot of nice classic cars if you're into that at all, which I really like. You can hop over there for an afternoon and check out the car museum, really worth it. Okay, so in closing, uh, again, this is the, the review for Yankee Springs State Recreational Area in Michigan. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. You know we love having you on the channel. And remember to follow us on Instagram at John Marucci and on Twitter at John Marucci. And again, it's John Marucci. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and so long for now.